There is good news and there is bad news. The bad news is regarding the release date of the highly anticipated New Game Plus update and the good news is regarding the weekly reset that just happened because it got a really cool item for sale this week that you totally want to grab. So let's get into it, shall we? If you enjoy that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. Ubisoft confirmed that we will not get update 1.14 this week so we have to wait a little longer till we can finally replay the game with all our gear abilities and the other things we collected in our current playthrough via the new game plus mode and of course switch characters as well go for Alexios if you are playing Cassandra or the other way around I think I will just stay with Cassandra because I really grew to love her over the course of the game I think her performance is a little bit stronger than that of Alexios but I'm curious to hear what you think like are you playing Alexios will you be switching over or will you remain the same character let me know in the comments down below so yes I really thought that this 1.14 update was going to launch this week simply because they were talking about this new shark pack that would launch on February 26th so with the next weekly reset well, the Carter Pack and Naval Pack will be available in the store and at the Ecos of the Olympians on February 26. So this is Bruno in the February content video. So I thought with him saying this that they have to release an update before that because as far as I know the pack is not in the game yet. Does this mean that the 1.14 update does not launch on a Thursday but earlier? I don't know. I will of course keep you up to date here until we know more. But yes, this does mean that we have more time to prepare because the next week New Game Plus comes out and the new level cap upgrades and way, way more. And then the week after that, the third episode of the Legacy of the First Blade will be live. So with the 1.14 updates releasing one week before episode 3, I think this also means that we get a cool new login screen next week when that update hits. Just like we saw with the previous patches before that. But yeah, a long time without no new updates but I think this one will totally be worth the wait. Let's move over to something we can do right now. Well, we actually got one week to do it and that is namely spend your Ori Kalkum on something really, really cool. I give Sargon, the storekeeper, a ton of crap. Of course, at the end of my Odyssey videos, I tried to get the freaking Hades Lieutenant, but I still don't have him and I'm like looking for this guy for four months now, something like that, I lost count. I will continue, of course, my search at the end of the video. So yeah, Sargon does not give me what I want, but I have to say that he has been selling some pretty cool stuff recently, apart from the crappy blue item, of course. No, last week we had the really cool bracers with the claws from the Nemi Alliance sets. And right now we can buy the helm of the Hades Lieutenant or the helm of the Underworld to be exact. Very, very cool indeed. A super unique and awesome looking helm that I know a lot of people wanted. Well, now you can get it for 80 Orikalkum at the Eagles of the Olympians. Of course, if you are not familiar, you can find that store over here. You won't be getting this item for the stats unless you are, of course, just starting out. No, but the unique look is worth it for sure so totally grab it before next Tuesday because then it will be gone from the store but you will likely be able to buy it like immediately you likely already have the category Kalkum right otherwise you can do the new challenges that appeared for the epic events we have to kill a mercenary this week a lady with a pretty hard name Okalea the Lotus Eater that's at least how I think you should pronounce it anyway she has some epic daggers that you can get if you defeat her and they are not that bad actually she takes less damage from assassinations. Still think you can kill her with one assassinate if you have a really good assassin build. And she will go into a rage mode when she is almost dead. So that sounds pretty strong. But the fight was not that hard on the Nightmare difficulty. But yeah, what else is new with these epic mercenaries? So first, you want to track the girl and then follow the icon on the map to take her out. At one point, she did a ton of damage, but for the rest of the fight, I managed. And I switched over to my Paralyzing Arrows to recruit her. And she's actually a legendary lieutenant for me. With 21% arrow damage, 28% weak point creation and the 100% fire segment refill after boarding. So yes, not bad at all and pretty cool that she's actually a legendary lieutenant, although I don't think that will be the case for everyone because it's always kind of random. So I would say just try and recruit her and see it for yourself. I do think that she looks pretty cool on your ship with an armor that I don't think we've seen before. 
And this is not the first mercenary that is wearing like a new armor that we haven't seen before. So hopefully Ubisoft has plans to add the gear that we now see on these mercenaries but can't wear ourselves because that would actually be pretty cool. The weekly quest this week is called Fire at Will and has us just like last week kill Athenian leaders but also 30 Athenian soldiers and burn the resources in forts and other camps of Athens. So that is what you want to do, like go to a region taken over by Athens, burn their goods, kill the leaders in the leader houses or these highly guarded locations. But I think a conquest battle is the fastest way to get the 30 soldier kills because that should easily be obtainable before the battle ends. Like you see me cleaning up here with my flaming attacks and my overpower ability from the staff using my health stealer build here by the way. I will link to that at the end of this video. So complete both quests and then you got the ADO Recalcum for the awesome awesome helmet that you can then rock in the new game plus mode that again is coming next week with the 1.14 update i will still have some odyssey videos in the meantime and of course when we know an official date i will let you know here but yeah this kind of also means that we can focus on some other games that are coming out it's pretty busy at the moment like looking forward to playing more anthem far cry new dawn i also bought metro exodus so no idea when i'm going to play that but yeah it's on my ps4 i can start it if i want so enough to play while we wait for the big 1.14 update that again also brings the level cap to 99 the two new mercenary ranks, the 22 new fast travel points and a lot of fixes. Hopefully for the exclamation mark that won't disappear in our inventory window as well. Just in is a response from the community manager Dominic on having a fix ready for the quest tab that says that you have a new quest while you have none. This will also be addressed in that future update, likely referring to the exclamation mark above the quest section, right? Other fixes include where horse movement animation are not working properly or where a cultist is stuck on the ground so cannot be killed. I know that something like this was going on around launch but seems to be still some issues here and other things will be addressed that I already mentioned actually in other videos like the visual customization that does not include items from the Ubisoft club that will be fixed and hopefully includes the mythical creature weapons as well from the two cyclopses and the ability cap of 207 ability points will also be removed. I also get a ton of messages just from people saying that the Olympian gifts are 10 Oricalcum, but then when they buy them, they actually spend 20 Oricalcum, the regular price, of course. And I think this is because before the launch of the game, these Olympian gifts were actually 10 Oricalcum. So during a pre launch event where I got to play and record Odyssey, I actually went to the Ecos of the Olympian store and saw the price of these Olympian gifts as well, and there they were indeed 10 Oricalcum. And also, when I got to play the full game before launch, I of course got a review copy from Ubisoft, I also saw the price of these Olympian gifts being 10 Oricalcum. Then the day one update or something changed it, but now sometimes people still see that these Olympian gifts cost 10 Oricalcum, while it should of course be the 20. So hopefully they look at this as well, because I can totally see why people would be confused when they think they would spend 10 Oricalcum, but then instead spend the 20. Maybe something for a next update as well. Again, I will keep you up to date here, so subscribe for everything Odyssey if you haven't already. Like the video to support the channel, and now let's get to that Ecos of the Olympian store to try and get the freaking Hades Lieutenant. Yo, Sargon, did you hear? I put up a good word for you, man. Yeah. I think you're on a roll with selling these items. We will take a look at the epic items, of course, as well, but let's just open an Olympian gift, like, while we're at it, right? Because I feel it. It has to... There has to be in legendary drop like in the near future now we got the persian warrior helmet warrior damage chance to ignore half damage fire damage mm, mm. chance to ignore half damage i don't know don't want that but i want to open another olympian gift like i've had like multiple epic ones i think the last uh legendary we had was another lieutenant i think it was the pegasus right and that was like a few videos ago so come on come on come on close i feel it we're close we're close assassin damage damage on animals and poison damage okay not enough not good enough not good enough what do we have in the store for epic items we got the ritual mace assassin damage all nice stats uh for an offhand weapon i don't think you want to use a mace of course when you are an assassin but i think for offhand pretty nice and I looked at them in the stream as well, right? Because they are actually pretty good. Like, assassin damage, crit chance while full health, and all damage. 
really, really good RD. So if you are looking into making an assassin build uh, and want them, then you can get them. I can't buy them because I already have them, but I'm not sure if I have the same stats. Travelers, garments, we have all damage, crit damage, also pretty nice. So he's selling pretty good epic items if you got some Ori Kalkum left over. I will, of course, not be buying them. I can't even buy them, as you saw. I will, of course, be spending it all on the freaking Olympian gifts. Uh, and we'll continue to do so. Like, will I get the Hades to Tenant before the new game plus mode? Likely not. Likely not. I will have, of course, some videos until we reach uh, that point. But yeah, in the meantime, of course, I want to thank you for watching. Subscribe to stay up to date. Next week will be a big week. I will cover it all here on the channel. Like the video to support the channel. Check out my video uh, on that healer build. But also, really interesting, on a likely new modern day mission that is coming to the game. I uh, made a video about that. You can click uh, that on the screen as well to watch it. For now, I will speak to you next time. And goodbye.